Hi, today I will, I will talk about information disclosure. It will be a random video just discussing some uh, ideas and techniques. Uh, some book hunters miss it. Uh, but in the first also, I want to tell you that it's my first video in English language, so excuse me if my language knows that good. So let's start. Uh, today, we're going to check something like technology analysis. So if we have website like hackerone.com, we have a blazer here which get us the technologies which used by the website. Uh, any bug hunter will look for the versions to just look for some CVEs. We have here jQuery uh, and version 4. So he will start uh, to search for some CVEs to this version. But we miss a very important thing which is looking for uh, directories to the same CMS for an example. So uh, let's take it. Uh, we have here CMS which is true. Okay. But we don't have the version, so we gonna work in generic. Okay, we have here CMS trouble. So what's the first thing that will get in my mind? So uh, it will be the fuzzing. So I have set lists here. I will search for trouble. I will get more than four word lists about trouble. So I, I have a minimum hundred uh, k uh, of words to start to fuzz with it. So you have to use this technique to avoid missing any hidden gems. Uh, I will use fuff, I think all of you know fuff, to uh, fuss for these different word lists in trouble same as it will get for you many secrets files and many uh, hidden gems. Uh, you have to know something, some of these files you can report it twice, one go to react and one go informative or NA. It's uh, all about the point of view of the company. I reported something to HackerOne, but they closed it as informative, but uh, I go to react in another place. So it's not the same rule, it's about the uh, company view. So you have to try a well-written report to prove the security impact of the file you have. Uh, sometimes you got the same pass, but different informations in the pass, so it's gonna be differently states. Uh, so you have to check well what you report and what you write. Uh, okay, now you have to notice also that information disclosure not that technically uh, but so you will face different uh, uh, situations in the future. So you have to look for uh, something to uh, report which has a big and a huge security impact on the company. It's all about the company business, uh, how the company work and how the information can uh, affect the company infrastructure or reputation. All of these things can make you uh, have a good report and have a good penalty. So uh, the first thing we discussed here, it's about uh, fuzzing for the word list. Do we have another uh, technique we can use just from a blazer? Yes, we have another one, which is Nikolai templates, especially Nikolai templates. Let's look for Nikolai templates. Okay. Okay, it's all about looking for the misconfigurations and some things which works on trouble. Uh, I got that uh, another website used uh, like we can say another website use AMM uh, which are provided by Adobe. So let's uh, look here for some HTTP and misconfigurations. We can get many things about AAM only or trouble. Also, we have trouble AAM. So from just advisor, we go about two techniques to test for hidden gems and secret things about the website, which uh, some founders miss it. Uh, it's all about thing out of the box uh, to get many different uh, ways to get deeper to the uh, the main infrastructure. Okay, we have here trouble, some configurations, and we have here EM many configurations we have and uh, we can test on some websites uses EM. Uh, I think I finished today. Uh, it was about discussing two different ways to get a different box with a different technique. Some backhanders miss, and I hope uh, you get what you want in this video. I will um, post a new video soon uh, and goodbye.